What's up guys, Chan the Barber back at it again. Today I'm gonna to be doing a custom paint job on my wall magic clips. Uh, this is just something that I have been interested in trying. I've seen a couple other people do custom designs and things on their clippers and I thought that it would be really cool to do something on the wall magic clips, uh, mainly because I don't really particularly care for this color and also I thought it would be cool to just try it out. Um, so you can follow these steps if you'd like to do something similar. Uh, this this tutorial will be mainly uh, applicable to uh, clippers that have the plastic casing. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, Elvis inspired. Um, I'm going to be referencing his famous pink Cadillac. It was a 1955 pink Cadillac um, that's very iconic. I'm going to be referencing that for this design and uh, because this is such an iconic clipper, I thought it was fitting um, to do something iconic like Elvis's Cadillac. So, uh, and two, you know, I can rock a pink clipper. You know, I can, okay? Alright, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, on to the first step. So the first step we want to do is remove this um, cover. So we're going to unscrew and um, take it off. I'm going to pop this off um, on this particular model. Uh, if you're working with a senior or um, some different ones, you might not have this, but uh, for the magic clip, you're gonna have to pop this off to get to that screw. And then So with um, this, you want to be, be sure to prep your surface. So I have the clipper cover here. You want to be sure to prep, uh, prep the surface by sanding this down. I'm going to be using 400 grit sandpaper as well as um, using water to um, just make sure everything is nice and clean um, from clipper oil or any thing that has come in contact with this. We want this to be absolutely clean and also to be sanded so that when the paint uh, comes in contact with it, it will adhere to it really well. So let's do that. I also forgot to mention that um, right here where the, um, where the light shows through, there's a little bitty um, plastic piece clear piece just to uh, you need to pop that out before you begin any work um, it basically just has two little prongs on the back and you can almost lost it down the sink you can um, just pinch it together with some tweezers or if your fingers can fit and uh, pop it out So I finished my first pass through, dried it off to see areas that I need to complete. As you can see, there's still some areas, so I need to make sure to hit those. So let's do that. I've sanded it <clears throat> for a good little while, and I've got most everything um, covered. That I'm gonna paint. Obviously, I'm not gonna paint. I'm not worried about the paint within here or on the back because that's not gonna be seen. But mainly is uh, what's what's seen is what I was trying to to get covered well. So now that that's done, <clears throat> we're gonna get ready to. 
apply the paint and do the design so let's do that also this little cover that goes on the top of the right here let's see right there I'm uh, I'm actually going to keep that the chrome because I think that will look really nice um, with the pink and make it look more like the Cadillac so let me show you what I got all this I bought from Walmart <clears throat> so I got this um, Rust-Oleum <clears throat> pink it's called a candy pink and it is a gloss finish there and <clears throat> I also got this kind of off-white called Sand Dollar, and I can only find that in the mat. I probably would have gotten the pink in the mat if they had it, but we're going to put a clear coat over it uh, that's going to be glossy, so that's not really going to matter much. But I got this because I'm going to do this as a base coat um, because I'm going to do something cool with a design with these... Uh, right here so basically I'm gonna do basically I'm gonna do the base coat on the area that I want to show under and I'm going to do a 55 over well, here um, you can see these numbers I'm basically gonna do the base coat <clears throat> then once that's dry I'm gonna stick uh, two fives to make 55 because the Cadillac was uh, 1955 and then I'm going to paint over with the pink and so it'll show the white through um, with the 55. So that'll make more sense when I get into it, but that's just kind of my idea right now. And then I got this, which is a clear glaze cover. So... Whenever I'm done painting, I'm going to use this on top of it so that it'll be protected um, and it'll be a nice finish. Here's my setup. Um, I just put this uh, kind of plastic bag down on this table. What we want to do when we're spraying it um, is to be continuously moving so as you move your hand spritz it uh, back and forth don't lay on the the nozzle and then go across because what we don't want to do is create any streaks in the paint um, and we're going to do the sides first because those are a little bit harder areas to get and um, then we'll do the full coverage that will help reduce um, creating any streaking or anything like that. So I'm gonna let that dry, let that dry uh, for about maybe 10, 15 minutes and then I'm gonna do another coat. Went ahead and did another pass and as you can see, the, uh, <clears throat> the color is looking like where I want it. Uh, got full coverage and it's looking nice. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry and once that's dry, I'll check it out and then I'll apply the stickers um, for the next part. Alright, so that's where I placed the stickers. Um, kind of had a trouble just figuring out where I wanted to place them, but I, I figured that there in the center would be a good placement since they fit right there. Um, so now we're going to paint over top with the pink. So I have coated it a couple of times. As you can see, it's looking nice and solid. I've also taking uh, I've also taken the stickers off where the 55 is. It's hard to see right now, but 
that's really how I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be kind of that subtle off-white. So let me see if I can get close so you can kind of see the difference. And it's going to look a lot better once um, I get it glossed over with that that final uh, clear coat. So I'm going to let this dry for a good little bit. Make sure it's good and dry before I apply that, that clear coat. All right, so it is finished. Here it is. The 55 Cadillac Magic Clip. Um, the clear coat needed to dry for 24 hours um, just so that there wouldn't be any fingerprints on it or um, any smudges just to make sure it hardened up nicely. Um, I'm really impressed with the way it came out and it's exactly how I wanted it um, and envisioned it and I think it looks cool with the little chrome right there on the top. I think it looks nice and it's subtle and blends with the pink really well. Um, I like it because it's not like uh, so in your face and um, yeah I like it a lot. I like the finish nice gloss finish and uh, I'm excited to put it to use. So, uh, let me know if you uh, decide to try to do this yourself and um, till next time Keep it pumping.